can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Let alpha, beta, and gamma be the roots of this cubic equation x cubed minus x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. Then the question is find the numerical value of this expression cube root of alpha raised to the fourth power over beta squared times gamma squared plus the cube root of beta raised to the fourth power over alpha squared plus gamma squared plus cube root of gamma raised to the fourth power over alpha squared times beta squared. Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so this question looks scary but this is very easy. So to answer this kind of question, we will use some concept and that concept is the Bieta's formula for the cubic equation. So given alpha, beta, and gamma are the roots of this cubic equation a x cubed plus b x squared plus c x plus d equals 0, then the sum of the roots alpha, beta, and gamma is equivalent to negative b over a. Sum of pairs alpha times beta plus beta times gamma plus alpha times gamma is equivalent to c over a, while the product of the roots alpha, beta, and gamma is equivalent to negative d over a. So using those concepts, we will answer this question. Alright, so given this cubic equation and using the beta's formula, so alpha plus beta and gamma equals negative of negative 1 over 1 or simply equal to positive 1. And the sum of pairs alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma is equivalent to just negative 2 over 1 or simply equal to negative 2. Now the product of the roots alpha beta and gamma is equivalent to negative of 1 over 1 or simply equal to negative 1. Now, using those results, we can now answer or evaluate this expression. So now, let's get the expression that we want to evaluate. And now, notice, on the denominator, we have beta squared times gamma squared. So what we're going to do here is to multiply this by alpha squared over alpha squared. This is just 1. So the first term becomes alpha raised to the 6th power all over alpha squared times beta squared plus gamma squared. On the other hand, these two terms, let's multiply this term by beta squared over beta squared and this term by gamma squared over gamma squared. So this will give us beta raised to the 6th power over alpha squared beta squared gamma squared and this term becomes gamma raised to the 6th power over alpha squared beta squared and gamma squared. Now, alpha squared, beta squared, and gamma squared, we can combine this as alpha, beta, gamma raised to the power of 2. And we will do the same thing to these two terms. Now, what is the reason? Because we know using the beta's formula, we know the product of alpha, beta, and gamma. This is just negative 1. So if this is negative 1, so negative 1 raised to the power of 2 is just positive 1, and all of those terms is just positive 1. So our expression, simply equivalent, the cube root of alpha raised to the 6th power plus cube root of beta raised to the 6th power plus cube root of gamma raised to the 6th power, which is, when we simplify this further, cube root of alpha raised to the 6th power is alpha squared. Cube root of beta raised to the 6th power is beta squared. And cube root of gamma raised to the 6th power is gamma squared. And now, let's focus on this result. This is just equivalent to this expression that we want to evaluate. So using alpha, beta, and gamma as negative 1. Now from here, take note, the sum of squares of alpha, beta, and gamma is equivalent to alpha, beta, and gamma raised to the power of 2 minus 2 times alpha times beta plus beta and gamma plus alpha and gamma. And we know the value of these two expressions using the beta's formula. Those are just 1 and negative 2. So alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared is equivalent to 1 squared minus 2 times negative 2. Now simplify, this is just 1 plus 4. And 1 plus 4 simply equivalent to 5. And this is our answer to this question. Therefore, 
if alpha and beta and gamma are the roots of this cubic equation, x cubed minus x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0, then the value of cube root of alpha raised to the fourth power over beta squared gamma squared plus cube root of beta raised to the fourth power over alpha squared and gamma squared plus cube root of gamma raised to the fourth power over alpha squared and beta squared, then our answer is just simply 5. And as always, we are done.